biggest musical inspiration is uh, Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails. Um, I like a lot of a lot of bands, and um, I really don't like that much hip hop. You know, uh, Tech Nine is probably my biggest hip hop influence, um, and I have a lot of hip hop artists that I respect a lot, and and I do like their music, uh, but the genre as a whole, most of it, I'm I'm not a huge fan of. So uh, it was more of an outside influence, musical-wise, um, as to why I started making music. Um, it progressed, and like there was other personal things um, that drove a passion for me to actually really create music, you know. But at first, I, like I said, I was just playing around. So at first, it was just a, a hobby, just playing around, and then. Um, I've always had same musical inspirations, and then uh, personal influence uh, drove it to reality, to real music, for a real reason. Um, I didn't really choose hip hop. Uh, that's just kind of how it happened. I started making hip hop um, for fun, just to prove that anybody can rhyme, because really anybody can rhyme. <laughs> It's not that difficult. Get a rhyme dictionary, get on beat. It's, you know, there you go, you're set. So I started out with that as a joke, but I've always wanted to make music, and I didn't feel I had the capacity to make the exact kind of music that I wanted to make. Um, a la Nine Inch Nails or some of my other influences. But I wanted to bring that same. Uh, I relate to some of those artists because they, a lot of their stuff, they were so depressed or it was so dark that I was able to really grab onto it. You know, I was able to relate to a lot of things. So I wanted to bring that to whatever music I did. And I had started out kidding, you know, making hip hop. And then I was able to craft um, this form of hip hop that was influenced by all my, you know, rock or industrial or electronic um, influences that I like, you know. So that was how I got into this particular niche that I did, you know. And I met some artists in, in hip-hop that really propelled my level, because uh, there are huge differences of levels in hip-hop artists. There's the people that are just playing around, and then there's people that this is their life, you know and then there's all different genres and people in between but I met the right people at the right time to propel it to a serious level and kind of merge the artist I wanted to be with this hip-hop thing like that's what happened so it wasn't planned to be that way so yeah uh, working with Twist and Sane was absolutely a phenomenal experience um, yeah I I was in a very dark place after making my demo. Nobody really listened to it that much. I couldn't give it away for free. I was I was trying to give it away for free. I wasn't super impressed with it myself. I, I put a lot of heart into it, but it was very raw, and I was still trying to find my sound and stuff. So I, uh, right after that, very dark place, very depressed even after, you know, trying to make this thing. And then um, Tech 9 CD came out, all sixes and sevens, and there was a song called Worldwide Choppers, which was like an anthem for me. and like. Like, you know, I was so driven, I had so much, like, anxiety and all kinds of problems going on and stuff. And for me, when that song came on, like, I would try and, I would try and mimic what these artists were doing, you know, like, follow me all around the planet as I run the game of psychology, they can never manage to do damage with no apology, pick them out the panic a little minute, cause I gotta be frantic, I'm a jammer cause I'm a not And like, just focusing on what they were saying and how fast they were saying it, which was crazy, I was able to just overcome all this other stuff that was going on around me, you know, because all I did was like, whenever I got in a bad time or a bad place or something, I'd just think about that song and I was like, oh man, you know, and then just focus on it. And it was awesome. So anyways, Twisted Insane, you know, rounded up the song and he was, he just killed it. And my roommate at the time, uh, you know, knew about him and had showed him to me before and stuff. And, and he was a really inspiring artist and he had started out as a you know, homeless, homeless and then slowly was building his way up and I'm like wow you know Tech 9 has the most song so anyways that song was super inspiring for me and Twisted and Stands at the end of it and then through connections and stuff I ended up you know 
collaborating with Twisted Insane. And it was like a dream come true, you know, for that to happen. And that happened way before the whole album came together and stuff. But I had that whole idea in my mind, and like the song I have him on, it's called Asylum. Um, even before he came out with his CD called The Insane Asylum, which actually just came out. Um, but I had that idea, I'm like, well, he's Twisted Insane, you know, and he very dark and all this stuff but the whole thing was the period I was going through that I wanted to get over was like I wanted to I you know I felt like I needed to be in a mental institution because I was so like depressed and anxiety and all this stuff and it was just crazy for me so I wanted to control that with the music and like break out of that and that was the whole process that that song came about and having him on there was just a nail in the coffin Um, for one, I mean, you can do it if, if you just, you're bored and you have nothing to do and you want to, you know, try it, you know, everybody wants to be a rock star, so that's fine, like, I'm not going to discourage you to, to not start that way, um, but when you're, if you want to be serious about it, you have to be serious about it, and, uh, so passion, like, that's number one, like, you got to have this passion, and you got to have this, uh, it's not necessarily, like, ignoring what um, advice people have to say about your music, you know, maybe you really do suck because I've been there before where I did suck and that's okay, you know, you're gonna suck definitely at the beginning if you have no training, whatever um, but your passion, you gotta just push through all that, you gotta push through how much you suck and how much people say you suck if that is in indeed the case when you start, which it more than likely is and if you really want it, you gotta go, you gotta break through a lot of walls just to get to where you're gonna be happy with your music and other people are gonna respect your music. It's insane, you know, just trying to get to that point, let alone selling stuff. So, passion, you gotta have the drive, you gotta have the commitment, you gotta really want it, basically. That's the best way to put it. Um, and then, beyond that, um, don't expect to make money. That you can't be in it for money. If you, Well, I mean, if you are, and like that's all you want to do is construct an image and try to make money, um, you could possibly do that. I definitely could have done that if I really wanted to. All I wanted to do was make money. Um, I would have taken a totally different approach to everything. And I would totally have done everything differently. Money is not an issue with me when it comes to being an artist. Uh, just because I would love to make money on what I do, but... Um, I care much more about what I'm doing. It's not legacy so much, but when I die, I want somebody to listen to what I've said and know it to be true and knew that there was no monetary influence in that, you know? So, I mean, like, I put so much money into all the things I've done already, and I've, you know, I've made, like, $200 in album sales, but I've spent, like, six grand, you know? So, on, on the whole, you know, videos and, and, um, uh, manufacturing and all that stuff so like it's not about the money to me it's about the message and what I'm trying to say and all that stuff so I tried to go about uh, making a living in as normal a way as possible you know I tried to start out by you know, starting at a company, starting at the bottom and working your way up and stuff like that, you know, and, and I looked at the option of school and where that would take me and all that stuff and, you know, I went, I went the normal route uh, a typical person could be expected to go. Uh, and I took it to the extreme and I moved up as fast as I could and all that stuff. Um, just to see what it was like, you know, I wanted to see what is the dream all about what is having you know a stable job with a good salary you know what is that all about and and you know you're supposed to obtain that first and then obtain you know you're supposed to have a, a wife and kids and all this stuff and I just wanted to see what that life was like and I I really scratched the surface of that like I really got really close to the dream you know the American dream like stable job good income all that stuff. Um, so in that way it influenced me definitely. But the way that it all shifted um, and the way that it's it's 
it's got a ceiling on it that doesn't allow you to go any further you know you only get so far and then there's nothing you know I knew it had some sort of meaning in what it what it needed to be um, so then when I got into music I was like yes this has to be you know this has to be what it's gonna be and uh, my original intent like and my only intent continuing is to uh, further my art and to help and further other artists art that I respect and believe in that aren't already you know on their own path so if there's somebody I respect and like but they're already doing their own thing you know I'm not gonna try and you know reach my hand out and say like hey you know like you know I'll help you out and all this stuff but Static Abyss represents myself but also just what just that empowering power to other people to try and you know do something more so absolutely I would love to sign more artists I've tried you know I reached out to Bipolar uh, because I was so inspired by his work his solo work and his work uh, when he worked with me uh, just absolutely amazing artist he has amazing passion and he's got like he's, he has a rich history and and uh, he's just got all this other stuff with him you know that it just combined to be right and that's why I asked him to be on the record label and he accepted but unfortunately I mean, you know, life happens, and there's other things that he wanted to do, and he didn't, you know, he didn't feel like, um, making music at this time, you know, making hip-hop and stuff further, he didn't feel like that was the right path to make, so I totally respect that, but I'm absolutely looking for more artists, um, to help. I'm not a mega corporation, you know, I'm just one man, I work you know, two jobs and I'm trying to save up as much money as possible. I want to take my own dreams and take them further. But anybody around me that has the right idea and they're going the right direction and they're trying to do something, you know, like, believe me, I will recognize that and I will take you with me. I will, or I'll take you further than I go, you know. Maybe my stuff doesn't go that far, but somebody else who I recognize and help out will go farther, absolutely. certain drive, certain drive and certain goal and certain mentality uh, about what they're, you know, about what they're about, you know, like you have to, these things are simple to me, you know, when you look at um, politics or something like that, you know, like, does it really matter what side? No, it doesn't. What matters is what really gets done and what really doesn't, you know, and um, you know, as far as the United States is concerned, like, what laws we have and what laws we don't, and what should be done and what shouldn't be done, it's really just common sense to me. You know, a lot of things, they're just common sense. So, a, a person that I attach myself to like that, and that I want to bring into the team, has, uh, they're like-minded, you know. It's, there's no question, like, it's equality, you know human equality. It doesn't matter who you are or who you love or where you live or what you smoke or what you, you know, like, there's really, it's just straightforward. It, these should be standards and truths to everybody, but they're not, you know, so the people that do get it are the ones that I connect with.